Welcome into the Penguin Rundown. I'm Kelsey Norris alongside Abbas Braswell. Abbas, we're in a bit of a different location for today's show, but we're still covering YSU sports, specifically men's golf. Right, men's golf had a disappointing end to last season. They weren't able to play, and they are not able to play this season as well. And it's 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 hard for the whole program. I can only imagine what the players are going through. And we got a chance to catch up with a senior and a freshman to get both of their perspectives on how the organization is playing out right now. And more on that, um, we talked with Ken Keller and Connor Stevens, who were respectively a senior and a freshman, on their perspectives on the end of the season, cancellation of the season. So we'll go ahead and send it over to the Watts, where more of our crew are sitting down with the golfers. Much like the rest of the fall sports on campus, men's golf has had their fall season postponed. This is after losing their spring season this past year to the coronavirus as well. Senior Ken Keller and freshman Connor Stevens give their take on the loss of a season. I mean, it's unfortunate, but, you know, I guess you got to do what you got to do. Fortunately, we get an extra eligibility back, which I'm going to take, but, you know, unfortunately, it's out of our control. It's frustrating because we were playing good coming into the spring season and you know, we had a good roster coming into the fall so we were excited about that it's just unfortunate that we can never really try to display our true talent so um it's definitely weird but with our team how close we are we're still fun uh we still have practices which is good but knowing i still have four years and i still get one back and we still play individual tournaments here and there so with the season being canceled it still stinks but we still get something Staying in shape for the hopes of a season is something both golfers took pride in over quarantine. Um, so I actually worked out pretty much every day during peak quarantine and I started working. So it kind of decreased a little bit for, for the most part. It's been like you know, two to three days a week since then. Um, my dad's really been working out, so he kind of pushed me. Um, with basketball, I still have basketball training, so I still got in shape during that. And then I just doing stuff with myself in my house and just practicing everything. Ken Keller has had a very successful career at Youngstown State University and recalls his favorite moment so far. I would have to say winning the tournament in Florida in March with both my mom and dad watching. You know, the whole team was there, most of the team was there, excuse me, and it was you know, a pretty special moment for me. Superstition is very common amongst athletes. Both golfers give us an insight into their pre-tournament rituals. Um, I'm really not a superstitious guy. I try to follow the same routine eat breakfast, but you know, not eat too much, I guess. Um, try to stick with the same warm-up routine. Don't go crazy, you know, a short, quick warm-up, and then pretty much go. Um, always gotta eat good before I go. Um, and then just music, just listen to rap. It just kinda gets me going, gets me pumped up, ready to go. Golf is a challenging sport, taking many years of practice and hard work. Ken and Connor talk a bit about how they got into golf. I started, it kind of started when me and my parents were trying to watch different sports when I was really young, but, you know, golf was just kind of one that stuck for me, and I really enjoyed it, so I just kind of went with it from a young age. Um, I started when I was four. My grandparents kind of, well, my grandpa kind of got me into it, and my, uh, my dad was a big golfer, so we had a house down in Florida, and we go down there for the winter, and I kind of just took off. There are many aspects to golf, whether that be the long game and driving the ball, or the short game with chipping and putting, both of which require a lot of time and dedication. Short game, because it's more important. That's where, that's where your scoring is going to happen, if that makes sense. So, you know, you got to spend at least 75, 80 percent of your time chipping and putting. So, um, I'd say both, to be honest. Um, I probably should be on my short game more, but I don't unless I hit it farther than cooler. But, I mean, I work on those, so I kind of need to tell. Youngstown State University has a fantastic golf program. Ken and Connor tell us what their favorite parts about golf are. My favorite part of golf, honestly, it's getting to meet, you know, some of the people that I do because I'd say most of my friends and my teammates are the people that I'm closest with. I met them through golf. I made a lot of good connections through it. So I'd say just meeting new people and being able to network. Um... Just practicing the dedication. I mean, you have to work hard every day, like every other sport. But just how like people think it's like kind of easy until they actually try it, and when they see how hard it is, it's like wow, it must be pretty good. So it's fun. 
Thanks, guys. That'll do it for us here at the Penguin Rundown. For news and more, please check out YSUSports.com. And be sure to follow us on all of our social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Penguin Rundown 1. And be sure to check out more YSU news at the Jam Bar. Um, Jam Bar TV premieres every Friday at noon on YouTube. I'm Kelsey Norris. And I'm a boss, Braswell. See you next week, Penguin Nation.